Hey guys, Artzak here again with a quick video. You may run into an issue where your Alienware R11 Aurora series PC won't turn on. Or it would turn on for a few seconds but would turn off without any warning or notice. Pretty much the same thing happened in my case too. And believe me, it was quite frustrating while trying to find out what's wrong with this PC. Don't worry, it's an easy fix. Please follow these steps and you will be on your way fixing this issue. In the end, I will tell you guys which solution helped me fix my problem. First thing that you can do is make sure the power plug to the CPU is turned off. Then press and hold power button for 30 seconds to deplete all the stored power in the power supply and the system. Then turn power back on again and press the power button on your PC. Hopefully this should work. If this doesn't work, follow step number two. At the back of your Aurora R11 system, near the green light, there is a small button. Try pressing it and it should fix the problem. Mine did not fix with this one either, so I continued following step number three, which was change the power plug source of your computer. Try running your power plug without any extension lead. Plug the system directly into the power switch as your power supply might not be getting the required power input from the power source leading to this issue. Hopefully this solution fixes the problem. If not, continue to step number four. Remove all the connected cables like keyboard, mouse, displays to the PC except the power cord and try to turn on your PC. If there's any faulty device or cable causing this issue, it won't be doing that anymore and you should be able to run your system again. If you have not been successful so far, then open the side panel of your PC and make sure that your video card, RAM and other connectors are not loose because sometimes during transportation they might come loose and cause a problem. If your system is turning on and does turn off after some time, then you can run Dell Diagnostics tool found on Dell website, which helps you run CPU, GPU and memory tests and check your system performance that might be helpful as well. If these steps have not fixed your problem, it could either be a problem due to some faulty hardware or some power surge which might have caused this issue, which is highly unlikely. Your system comes with Dell service warranty. So don't be worried, it's all covered. You can contact Dell support and they would be able to help you with the technical and service advice. In my case, solution from step number three helped me fix my problem. I changed the power source of my PC to direct switch and it hasn't got any problem ever since. So guys, let me know in the comment section below which solution worked for you. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please hit thumbs up on this video and make sure you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel for amazing upcoming content. Stay tuned.